Right, so we're on our way to the vet now for Schmidt's second inoculations. Um, it's about a 20 minute drive. He is doing so well. He's super quiet. I can see he's lying down at the back um, in his crate and I have some treats with me. So every time we stop at a robot, then I give him some treats and that seemed to calm him down because in the beginning he was almost, he wasn't crying, but you could see like, you could hear he was a little bit anxious. Um, and I also have his favorite toy with him uh, in the back in the crate. And then for the appointments, I also fold a Kong for him because uh, I know he loves the peanut butter Kongs. Um, I use the peanut butter just to finish off the stuffing and then I stuff it with wet kibble at the moment um, just until he's completely off of the kibble. And yeah, we'll see how it goes. guys we're back from the vet now and everything looks good and he is very healthy the only thing that the vet did realize um, is she asked me what we are feeding him at the moment and she did say that she's not a, a dog nutritionist what happened was we ended up feeding him a portion kibble and a portion of the raw food and with that we ended up feeding him too much and then he started picking up weight because we were trying to transition now how we got to that point was there's so many different sites on um, raw versus kibble and we did as much research as we can but all of the sites say all different things and that's really confusing for someone who isn't in the field who isn't an expert who is just a new puppy owner and who wants to know what's the best thing to do also I'm watching videos from the US and we don't have those kinds of raw foods we have different brands and different nutritional value and we just we need some guidance with regards to transitioning to the raw food so what the vet suggested is let's get him uh, fully grown on the kibble so that we know that he's fully grown and his nutrition is up to standard and then once his hormones are set in place and he's fully grown then we can make the switch to raw food because she does love raw food she just thinks that it is a little bit risky looking from a, a nutritional point of view and how much of what he needs and for us not knowing nutrition and not knowing nutrition of of dogs we need to be sure that we're giving him the right stuff and the thing about kibble is everything is already balanced and it's been designed by scientists and I do respect both parties like raw versus kibble I do respect both and there are pros and cons with each but for the sake of him being a puppy and for the sake of us not having enough information to be able to raise him in a way that his nutritional value is going to be the best for a puppy and for, for his specific age we are going to stick to the kibble now or and until we get to a nutritionist we are going to do some research to get to a nutritionist so that he or she can also guide us to switching to the raw foods and knowing that we are feeding him the right stuff that's where we're at at the moment we are going to do some research to see where a dog nutritionist is in Cape Town and if you guys do have any recommendations please I would love your help and I would love your recommendations next we are going to go to the studio we're going to meet some of my students and get him used to a brand new environment <laughs> Are you getting comfortable? <laughs> so we are on our way to our first puppy class. Um, Schmidt is here in his crate at the back. We are going to get some coffee quickly and then we are off. I'm very excited for him to meet all of his friends and yeah, let's see how it goes. We are at puppy school now. He's enjoying the grass because we have the artif- oh okay and the plants. <laughs> and the artificial grass at home so he's enjoying the grass there's his puppy friends he's much calmer than the other pups but let's just give him time because i know he's a little bit introverted when he meets new people or new dogs apparently so yeah we are just introducing ourselves and getting used to it <laughs>
after our first puppy class, we came home and I can see he's a little bit frustrated, but he's more exhausted with his, that's why he's frustrated. But anyway, so this week was all about socialization and getting him out and about uh, without exposing him to anything that might be harmful because he hasn't completed all of his inoculations yet. So he's only allowed to be in public places where there are no dogs allowed. So we went to the studio to where I work um, as a dance teacher. We met some of my students. He met them for the first time and he did so well. He's so excited. He's not, he's definitely not shy, um, but he's also like not very jumpy. He's not very out there, but he's definitely very excited to meet new people and new dogs. And after our first puppy class, I can honestly say that he did very, very well. He met so many dogs. We got there early, so we met a lot of dogs and then we stayed a little bit after as well. So we were out of the house for a good three hours and he met so many dogs and so many new people and he was excited for all of them he also gave a little bit of um not attitude but he wanted to play with all the big dogs as well and i was like okay Schwartz, you're very small can you just turn it down a little bit so but he did very well i'm very happy to see that he's very comfortable with playing with all dogs of all sizes <laughs> so he did uh, he did super well very impressed with the results we at the puppy class we worked on sit we worked on um look at me we worked a little bit on loose leash training and that is something that we'll be practicing at home now because we know how to do it so we've been focusing on basic obedience training this past week and then with the puppy class we wanted to use the puppy class to just make everything more effective to have proper guidance when doing all of these trainings because you know watching a YouTube video is one thing but actually being in the puppy class and doing the training yourself is another so we'll be using every tip that we learned in the puppy class and we'll be applying that to our training methods and for his first puppy class i am very very impressed and i'm very happy so this week we'll be focusing on the loose leash training and we'll also be continuing our basic commands like sit stay down settle uh, we'll be focusing on the play pen training because now that he's used to the crate that is one thing but he doesn't like staying in the play pen while i'm up and about in the house and he might not be sleeping so the playpen is there for like in the morning when I get ready I want to be able to leave him alone in the house but now he's also teething so he's biting everything including the walls it is ridiculous he's he's literally like biting our apartment so he is just, the teething is really intense. I want to be able to leave him in the playpen, but as soon as I put him in the playpen, he starts crying and whining like he really doesn't like the playpen at the moment. So I'm going to focus on that this week. And then, um, yeah, as I said, I'm going to be continuing the basic training. And then next week, we'll be also going to the puppy class. And um, I will be posting a video on our training and how the training is going and how I'm training as well. That is it for today's video. Please make sure you like and subscribe. I appreciate you all and I hope you have an amazing day. Let's say bye. Let's say bye. Say bye.